this quick video is designed to help people learn how to add polling to the Zoom process. The first thing you're going to have to do is make sure that the administrator who set up the Zoom account adds polling as a feature. Once that has been done, then you go to your normal screen and you're going to click on schedule a meeting. And then once that happens, you can enter the meeting's name, create a topic or whatever it may be, and then you're going to put in the date that the meeting will take place, put in the various times, and if you're going to require a password, enter that information. Indicate whether or not when you first start the meeting is the video going to be on for the host and or the participants. And the same thing with the audio. How is that going to take place? Telephone or computer audio is going to be allowed. And you can add the kind of calendar invites that will be part of the process that will be exported that you could send out to the participants of the meeting. There are some advanced options that you can add. If you scroll down, you can see that you can do things like enable other the participants to join before the host, mute the participants on entry so that once the meeting starts, they're not uh, making noise or chatting. And you can also limit only authenticated users to join the particular Zoom meeting. So those are the various options you can add. And then once you're satisfied with that, click on Schedule, and then you'll get a calendar invite that you can share with the various participants. Once that has taken place, then you can start adding polling. You can read about the support for adding polling at the support.zoom.us website, and you can go there and type in something like polling for meetings, and you'll see various um, knowledge-based articles about polling for meetings. So let's talk about creating a poll. Basically what we're going to do is go to the meetings page, uh, click on the schedule meeting, and if not, schedule one, and we just walk through scheduling a meeting. And we'll go through these various steps now about scrolling to the bottom, adding the poll to the option uh, to the Zoom webcast. We'll see how you can do that. So after you've scheduled your meeting, you're going to go back to this page, select the particular meeting that you want to add the polling to. So here I've selected a particular meeting that will take place uh, today, and we click on the Meetings tab to get there. Once that's taken place, you select the meeting and click Start, and then you may see yourself if the video is on. And then towards the bottom, you'll see the polling feature where you click on that, and you can start adding various kinds of questions and polls. You'll be presented with a screen that will allow you to enter the title for the poll. You can indicate whether or not the polling will be done anonymously or and so on. So you can create at the area of the top one, you can enter the polling question and then enter the various potential answers below. And you can choose whether or not it will be a single choice or multiple choice. So here, for example, do you like Zoom? Might be the name of the poll. The particular question might be were you able to join OK? And then three or four different questions were pre-populated by typing in yes easily, yes took a few minutes, and so on. Once you're satisfied with that, click Add a Question, and then you can add another one to this particular poll. So, for example, have you prepared for this class, and so on. Once you're satisfied with the questions that you've asked and the potential polling answers you've given, you can then save that particular poll, and you'll see a screen where those polls will be saved. And here, for example, there's one poll that consists of two questions. If you want to create multiple polls, then you can add a poll at the top right, which can consist of one or more questions. Now when you go to the bottom of the screen and click on polling, when you're in the middle of your meeting, you'll have an option to launch the various polls that you have pre-populated. And this is a quick overview of how to add polling to your classes to make it more interesting.